Hello guys, this is Zibi from the Omax Motors. We're trying something different. Uh, it's been a while since we had one of these in the shop. This is a 72 Mercedes 280 SEL. Hear Vico playing in the background from Patina Collective, you have to represent. That's how a door is supposed to close, okay? You can't even get that in the new bandages. Huh. So, <clears throat> why are we doing this? Seems like Mercedes has lost their way. And this is one of those cars that brought them to where they are today, actually. Um, I fix a lot of newer Mercedes, and I know how they're built, how they're manufactured. And there's really nothing that compares to the old build quality. How much abuse these cars can withstand, how much weathering. I mean, look at the paint. This is all original paint. If it wasn't for the ding here, it would have just buffed out. Today, cars after 20 years, you have to repaint the whole car. Look at the chrome. So I've been cleaning it up. I'm at the trunk part now. And I said, guys, you need to see this. I mean, I've seen cars that are from the early 2000s that have trunks more rusted than this. I mean, there's just a little bit of surface rust everywhere. Sure, it always depends on the owner. So a little bit of knowledge I can share with you. This car was basically built on a chassis from the 60s. You got your fin tails, diesels and whatnot. Carbureted cars, six cylinder. But the V8s are the most sought after. Right mattress matter. We'll find yours. Save up to $800 on Stearns and Foster and get a Here's the engine. During the Black Friday sale, mattress frame. I, I was working on this, cleaning it up for better half of the day, I want to say. It's completely original. Leaves and stuff likes to pile up there. I just <clears throat> had to turn the radio off real quick so we don't get hit. So, basically they started putting V8s in these, the 4.5s, and people love these. The first time I drove one was back in 2014, I believe, and it amazed me going down the highway at 120 plus in a car that was this old at the moment um, got me thinking, you know these are really great cars mine was silver with a black roof 
So, I kind of fell in love with these. Since then, I owned two more, and this is a third one. So I just purchased this two days ago. It runs well, missing two cylinders. The injectors are stuck. Um, my battery is unplugged at the moment. I was just embering the uh, battery tray. Cleaned off some of the rust and I put a ton of amber on it and then some heavy duty paint to seal off the amber and that pretty much stops it from corroding whereas if you clean it and you paint it it'll just keep rusting the amber seeps into the rust over a period of years it keeps going into the rust so that's pretty much what I do. It's not a pretty looking perfect job, but it actually stops it from rusting. Same thing on the whole engine. Um, it was just cleaned and amber coated. You have your brackets that I called zinc sprayed. So they're basically cold galvanized. Um, I grab whatever I can. This is most likely uh, for used for welding, so it's like a welding primer, high in zinc value. Um, you spray that on rust, and then you put some of that amber on. Not only does it look great, but it actually stops the piece from rusting. Nice example. Wanted to share it with you guys. It's pretty much, I want to say, 90% original. That panel was worked on before. That corner had some welding in the past. There's a um, some rust developing. Of course, on the other side, it's no different. You can see where the fender was painted on the bottom, along with the door. Um, this side here is original. It's probably why I purchased the car. You can see the car is very clean underneath. The hole underneath of the car pretty much looks not nice, besides those two front corners. Now obviously you can't just get it out on the road in the salt because it'll just start to corrode on you. It needs to be protected before that's done. Um, I'm looking forward to fixing my brakes. The caliper's missing. I need to turn the rotors, put new pads on. So somebody started messing with this and I guess they didn't know what they were doing. We'll be putting um, some brakes on this and then maybe we'll make another video for you guys. See how she runs. We'll make a video how we're driving it. Thanks for stopping in. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know you guys love Mercedes and probably old ones like these. These are always a find and they're getting more rare every every day thanks for stopping in